G'day, I'm Ted O'Brien and I'm here to talk about nuclear energy. Over the decades, Australians have had all sorts of views about nuclear technology. Even today, there are those who still say, whatever we do, let's not go nuclear. But the thing is, we already are. Australia already is a nuclear nation. We've been managing a major nuclear reactor just 30 kilometres from Sydney CBD for around 70 years. And it does great stuff, from enabling CT scans to helping diagnose and treat heart disease and cancer. Australia is also one of the biggest exporters of uranium, which fuels nuclear reactors the world over. In fact, our uranium reserves are larger than any other countries. And then there are nuclear-propelled submarines which have been visiting Australia's shores for decades. And now, through the AUKUS deal with the US and UK, we're set to have our own fleet of nuclear-propelled subs. But there's an aspect of nuclear we've never embarked upon as a nation, and that's nuclear energy. Did you know nuclear energy is in fact banned in Australia? We're the only country in the G20 with a blanket ban on nuclear energy. Take France, where nuclear constitutes over 70% of its energy mix. And they plan to build another six reactors starting in 2028 with an option for a further eight before 2050. And they're not the only ones. In fact, 34 economies use nuclear energy today and another 50 are introducing it for the first time, all planning to do so. But in Australia, the door to nuclear energy is shut. What's the case for opening it up? That's what we'll be discussing in future videos. The what, why, how, who and where of next generation zero emissions nuclear energy within the Australian context. Authorised by Ted O'Brien MP, LMP, Maroochydore, Queensland.